Hello Goblins, uh, today I've got a nice quick one for you. I'm going to be doing a paper gang, so, and we know how quick those ones can be. At least this time I can show you the stuff myself. Uh, not that I wasn't showing you the stuff myself before, but you know what I mean. Anyway, back to the Eden Project. Very pretty. <laughs> Let's see what we've got inside. So this is a stationary box. So we're hoping for stationary. I would imagine it's stationary. Right, so, and this is the bit you like, so I'll do it nice and fast and like. Oh, this is the bit that always happens. I can't, just literally cannot open one of these properly without the end coming off. Why I have so much trouble in all sorts of goblin areas. Right, so, first off, we open them up and we see it's a very bright green. This is not a colour I can wear, sadly. I have the wrong skin tone, it makes me look ill. I would love to be able to wear this colour, but I'm just not blessed in that regard. Let's have a look at you. Open up the pretty packaging. Right, so to start off with, we have some envelopes. It feels like something in the envelope, so what I'm going to do is have a look and see what is in these. Oh, that's so cute. Look, little Eden. Now, I don't know if you know about the Eden Project, but it's in Cornwall, and it's basically these massive uh, eco domes. So inside, so there's two really large ones and a, and a small one in the middle, or smaller one in the middle. It, it doesn't look like that on the inside, but this is the dome. These are the domes, and there's like a tropical zone. And there's a uh, Mediterranean zone. So there's one that's lots of like Mediterranean type plants and animals, and the other one's all sort of tropical plants. I say plants and animals, but there aren't really that many animals there. There's, some, there's a few, but it's not. They have to be careful because, you know, if any of them get out, you don't want them living around Cornwall sort of thing. But this is such a cute, I think it's a card. It's a 3D like card type thing. And I think, oh yeah, so if you. Pop it out, she says, like she knows what she's doing. And you obviously you put your message on the back there. You've got a little Eden Project diorama type thing. Did you see that? I hope you can see that. That's so cute, it's 3D. That's very cute actually. I wonder if the, I wonder if the other was the same design. Oh no. Oh, it's inside. So it's inside the dome. That's inside the tropical dome. And they've got, they do the most amazing drink there. And it's, um, oh, what is it? It's baobab. It's based on baobab powder and baobab trees. And they do a rum, they do like a normal version and then they do a rum version. Oh, that's so good. Very nice for a little sneaky rum boy. Yeah, can you see? Pretty. It's so cool. Oh, very cool. Actually, I was not expecting that. That's cooler than I think. This is really bad to say that, but you know. And then we have a Eden Project Paper Gang pencil. Now this looks like a pencil that's made. Oh, it's made of rolled up paper. So you've got the graphite in the middle, and then you've got. I don't know if you can see. There's like etched out writing there, but it's compressed. If you look at the very end, which you probably can't see, right, it's like a little teeny tiny tight roll of paper. That's very cool. Because the Eden Project is all about eco stuff, you know, everything's eco friendly, uh, it's a sustainable living, so it runs off its own power and stuff like that. It's very cool. This one is, I'm guessing, a pen. And it's again, it's made of rolled up paper. Can you see, can you see the roll of paper there? It's got a little paper cap on top. How cute is that? It's a paper game, Eden Project. So, yeah, so all of this will be like recycled, made of recycled paper and stuff. And there's a little art print. The paper game loves their art prints, so you can see. And you see these birds in the tropical area. They they sort of poodle around. That, as I say, they have to be careful about which animals are in because there has to be stuff that's going to be non-invasive. And then you've got oh, a little planner, a little planner. That's nice. The Grower's Journal. 
Oh, oh, and you've got, oh, that's cute. So you can record plants in here. So you've got like a photo or drawing of the plant. Then you've got the type, the soil type, how much care it needs and the care. So the care types go from unkillable to needs love. So you've got unkillable, easy, needs love, needs love, needs love. So there's three needs love. So if you're a three needs love, that's a lot of love. Then you've got sunlight from low to direct, water daily to monthly, feeding daily to monthly, uh, temperature cool to warm, humidity dry to humid, location, and whether or not it's pet or child friendly, so whether it's toxic or not, which is actually a really important thing you've got to bear in mind because there's a lot of things you can grow in your house that's really bad for your pets or your children. Then you've got the month you planted it, and how big it is so you can actually measure your your plant see how big it is i think that's really sweet i of course do not have green fingers i say i have brown fingers because 99.9 percent .9 of the stuff that i i grow dies don't know why i think it's because i lose track of time and sense and pretty much everything but that's beside the point i do my best i have a little japanese maple in my back garden we get, get a lot of weeds they're very healthy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that paper gang opening and I hope that I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.